And so, we know you're in for a good entertainment tonight. Our juniors are on form. They gave an excellent show last night. I'm sure they're going to do the same again tonight. So sit back and enjoy Hank and Hillman. Thank you. Dirt 
club was it? It was one of yours. What's that a dirt clock? That's no wasp Where'd you find no wasp nest? It was that. That thing was prone like a wasp this morning. I thought my fingers was tingling some. You were sure some more. Now that it's going to fall over our room. I thought I felt something singing me, but I'm so used to it. Maybe if you'd clean out your bed ever so often, you wouldn't be afflicted. So. I done check out the covers last month. Yep, and those poor old pops had to go live somewhere else. Ma, Betty keeps making faces at me. Betty. Oh, Ma, just up to mess things up right here. Besides, she sure is funny when she's fighting off the mess of wasps. You is so, so, give me a word, Ma. Uh, assorted. You is so assorted. And not. Or so. And not. Or so. You got stuff in your hair. You hair me. Yes, yes Ma. Now, one thing I will not abide in my household is any sort of vile carrying on. Our hands arrived. We all got some to eat. Did you see anything up there, Pop? Anything at all? And did you bring them home with you? You done said you was gonna bring home a man. You said as soon as you could, you'd bring one home with you. We done told you we ain't picky. Any old man will do. <laughs> Oh, 
tell me about it. Gets worser every day. Why, I never seen such a hankering. Getting souls, I was afraid to sit foot inside my own door here. Man! Man? Why? Oh, why did you see a man? There's a man? I thought her call you out. He's seen one. Oh, where is he? Now stop it. Oh, you. But, Ma, where's that man Pa just called out to? He didn't see no man. He was just a science. Sort of. Science? Oh, but he said that word. That wonderful, precious, sweet word. It was just his way of letting off steam. Getting souls. I has to watch every word I says. Mine. See? The fool almost did it again. Don't go getting their hopes up, huh? Today, things all acting kind of assorted. Huh? That's a new word I done learned. Well, hang on a second. Hang on. One. Two. Three. Four. Ain't we got another one of them? Charlotte Mays out in the kitchen. Yes, yeah, sir, she's reading again. That's all she ever does is read them books. Thanks, she's better than the rest of us. Sir, I'm fat. She's just trying to bet her own self. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Is there? Is there? No, no ma. ma. There's the precious child now. Early. You sure is a blessing to your old pa. How so? By my devotion. Or by my helping out with chores. And by not ambushing me at the front door. What you eating? How to catch a man. Oh, you give me that one. What folks says about her? She's got the crazy eye. No sort of telling what sort of craziness is in this here book. But she be the only one around these parts would read. Hey, exactly. Always reading. Just a natural like. Now, Charlie, I got this here magazine. Best to read this instead of that. I don't see what good it's going to do. Oh, I. Seen the Vickle sisters coming up the path. Thanks for the warning! Just one clear shot. That's all I ask! Now stop that, Pa. Remember now, they's the ones who brought us together. They's almost family, you know. Just one clear shot. That's all I ask! Had it! And it's at home! Oh, they's tricky, they is! Now stop it, Pa. Let's see what they want first. We done stop by to get some money. And I'm gonna shoot them! He's just a slave to the female community. Hi to Rosemary, hi to Parsley. Why don't you do just this spell? Don't just up and holler that like dance. But that's why we's here. I know, I know. But we can't just get the green back from folks. We have to sneak up on them first. Commands to sneak. <laughs> Thank you kindly. We ain't got no money. I just thought I'd get a start on the conversation before it gets out of hand. What y'all collecting for this time? The poor. Let me know where I can make withdraw. <laughs> I'll be out in the yard. Well, I ain't going to break much, did you hear? Here, what? There's somebody who poke around the hall. Somebody? When you say somebody, what kind of somebody? Yeah, be it a she somebody or a he somebody. I'll thank you for your speech. This is important. Well, the way I get it, it was me. A man? In the holler? Look out, Paul. Little waiter! <laughs> that worked funny. Good. There you go. And now we can talk. 
off. No, we meant it. There really was some man. Some stranger bugging around on bar. You heard, Pa? <sighs> Only most of my outsides. Wouldn't be so bad, but they starting to get some tonage on them. <laughs> I swears. I'll be out in the backyard. I will alert you if there's another stampede. I should have had puppies. <laughs> now, what was you to say? Well, I ain't going to break us around, but I get it. You went to the gun right. Who? Oh, my! I didn't think of that. What if you don't look for our government? No, nah, I wouldn't mean that. Exactly. He could be from some other government. Some fair power. Come down us, he has. Move down that to his the community. What'd you ask, Ma? Well, I too forgot. Oh, howdy, Uncle Saw. Howdy, Cyrus. Howdy, Cyrus. Howdy, Cyrus. I say hi. Your brother's out in the backyard. There's some coffee fresh on the stove yonder. Hey. Cyrus is always at a monster. We know what a guy about he is. A social butterfly ain't all for a fact. You think he knows in the bad ways? And invite an alien who would have bad to say in the promise? If he do, he ain't talking. For a fact. Crazy 
from the thoughts of Louisiana. No, sir. We got to earn the whole of our best Where are we? You can say that again. <laughs> Y'all take care. Soon for us and ask questions later. Let us know, me line. There they go again. Now 
you is just starting to state your business. Great. Guess I better start at the beginning. Represent the United States. 
state government to hereby tender this offer for your acreage in an attempt to secure it as a sanct sanctuary for wildlife. Why can't them folks just speak plain? I told you, Pa, it's the government. Makes a man proud. Say, where'd Charlie get off to with that city slicker? Now, Pa, I've been thinking. Now, Ma, I done told you. When you's thinking, we's hurting. Well, this man, he ain't just a Guernsey. He's a government Guernsey. This row you's a hoeing, is it going anywhere, woman? Well, I was thinking, if you was the plug full of holes, they'd just swoop down on us with all them congressmen and what all. And I just ain't got room for them all. Yeah, I plum didn't think of that. Besides, they might not like it. They is particular that way. We done got all the wasps at our room, huh? And it weren't easy. How'd y'all do it? We done took Frida out the window and them wasps went after her. Now, Wars, that sweet looking man. Now, you leave him be, child. He's good, man, and you know what that means. Trouble. Hey! More trouble. What is it brings you here, Sarah Lee? Him and Charlie done went out to his automobile. The handsome stranger was greeted by the whole Herford family. This is front page stuff already. Now we in the newspaper. I told you we should have shot him. I have stuff in my newspaper for days. Maybe I ought to shoot her. He's here on government business. It's all right, it's safe now. What did you use on this man, huh? Scattershot? How's you big? You ain't hurt none, is you? What can we do to make you feel better? Ma! All right, you gals, let them be. Thank you, sir. And you, quit working your big city ways on my dog. I didn't do anything. Playing hard to get. <laughs> it's like honey to a possum. You call us possums, Pa? Now y'all keep away from him. But looky here, looky who's done taking up with the government man. All innocent like you. Y'all behave and get on to your chores. Oh, Ma.
sanctuary for wildlife. I see. Not looking for no moonshine stills now, are you? Moonshine stills? Hash up, Sara Lee! Don't try and stand in the way of our free press. We have the right to know. Know what? What? Get out! Only what, child? 
Only, do you know of any way I can get that fella to take it up this time? Oh, you want him to dote on you, to adore you from afar, to encourage you? Yeah, fine. I have three recipes. Every one of them is made up by me for three. But powerful effects upon who you have kept set for. What is that? Hold your taters there. My side! Eyes coming. I was just gathering up some boxing berries. Shut up. We don't give out none of our articulars on none of our other jobs. As a trainer, her on account to open up a branch office. Where? Down by the branch, of course. Oh, I can found a dead bat we can use. Never mind that. Now, you being the partner, you need a love recipe. I will try anything. Well, I got my number one. That's where the intendy starts taking notice of you and being kindly to you. But then, I got my number two. Ties them far and you around and making fights with anybody else who looks at you. Then, there's my number three. That's the one I want. Don't you want to hear about it? You just whoop it up for me and I'll settle up with you later. Making eyes at him, bouncing off the 
clock or wasps. Sorry about that. Look, boy, I done told you I ain't having nothing to do with no Burnses. But Mr. Hereford. And I ain't forgot who's one of them. Marcus, maybe I could be of some help to you. First you done took up with the Black Widow, now you're taking up with this city slicker. You is wearing on me in my old age. Pilot! That old. I'm getting there, Ma. I'm getting there. Will you gals stop that? Wait, Marcus! I mean it now. Look, I can get you to sign the document and then get Mr. Guernsey to sign it. Serves you right. Yeah, you tried to sneak him away from us, then he was just starting to like me. You? It was me he done spoke to. But I was the one who tricked him, and I tried to tie the face still, can't you? Charlie? It's a Black Widow's helper. What business has ye? She's come for me, Ma. For you? Child, but you got yourself all you to this time. Oh, I know. I I was trying to tell Maisie what wrong she's doing by consorting with the Black Widow. Well, that's better. Now, you girls leave it be. Here we go again. We don't ever get to do nothing. I was out of the door. Hey, you about the close we got. Now wait just one little minute there. I better go sail possum. You watch yourself, child. Now, what do you mean, tell her how wrong I is? Do you know how hard it is for a career woman these days? I oh, know, I just said that to get rid of them. Now you got the stuff, all made up special. Fine, does I drink this, or do I give it to him to drink? Oh no, child, do you know what's in there? Well, what do I do? You have to get him to wear it around his neck. How does I do that? Hey, I just delivered the potion, and nobody told me it came with directions. But once he's got it on, look out, he got you. There has to be a way to close this. Say, what if I can find a way to end that for you? Say, I done got something here for you. Get away from me. But this will help you out. That would be a wonderful place to go right now. But I don't mean no harm. Oh, sure. So far since I've been here, I've been threatened. I've had guns pointed at me. I've been stung, skin, and scalped. What's next? You plan on skinning me? But I would truly like you. I swear, what can go wrong next? <laughs> You done had a man! Yeah, we come to carry him off. So we could have us a shot at him. Don't say shot. So don't get in our way. What's all over a kissing? Guernseys! At my own home! Pa, how come you brung in a man? Your own self. It weren't my idea. You keep away from him, I tell you. You tell him. What's all the noise going on out here? Oh, it's some Guernsey gal. You gonna do about it? Y'all don't get us now. We hadn't started in yet. It don't get my way. She just scared me of that. You know, I might just fire amongst y'all just to clear the room. What's the matter with you people? Can't we all just get along? Marcus, there you are. The team, you're here already? Yeah. We took the chopper in and let the taxpayers pay for it. <laughs>
silly kid father can't take much more of this. You gals get on out of this crazy place. Aww, Aww. Did What's going on? Thank goodness that's over. You think so, do ya? Help! Where'd you get that junk, child? Black Widow give it to you? Something for warts, Pa, that's all. You best steer clear of her. These men are ours now, right, Pa? We catch them all ourselves. Fair and square. I can't breathe. <laughs> all right, you cows, let them be. You do as your Pa says. You guys had better go way back to the camp. Faster than a spinning pole. Wait! They may have your seat out there. Yeah, I'm not up for any more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Go out the back way here. I'll try to Well, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. And you think Jack won't stop it if it's you so funny! Has you had enough, boy? You ain't doing nobody, no good, no how. I want you gone. And as soon as you're out that front door, I swear I'm gonna nail it shut. Don't you just hate them folks drop by unexpected like. Ma, can I have words with Marcus? Prop like. Yes, child, I know what you's up to. Well, is y'all like to give him a head start or what? Oh, thank you, Ma. Let's go. Charlie. I done got this for you. You want to keep folks from taking shots at you, don't you? What do you mean? Well, you see how they's all afraid of this little old pouch here? Yes. And you want to take all the help you can get. Uh-huh. And you see how about folks put such great store in this little old pouch here? Mm-hmm. Well then, all you have to do is put it on. Wait a minute. You don't think for one minute I believe in all this hocus pocus? Of course not. But they does. Charlie! Get in here, child! Here, just put it around your neck and stuff it down your shirt when no one will see it. Unless you want them to. Then you can just pull it out. Might come in handy at that. Charlie! Just put it on. <coughs> Sorry, <you're so> old. <coughs> them two are always a scrappy. You pay them never no mind, you hear me? Tell me about it. Charlie wanted me to wear this pouch for you. You have more? Not until I got here. <laughs> that Charlie's sure taking a shot to sure enough. I know, the hankering as Paul calls it. And mm -hmm. powerful can be. I mean, just see her, the way she stood up girls, the way she did. Yeah, I, she really did, didn't she? Perfect. That so much as a thought for herself. Well, that's the way it is. She is something, isn't she? The hankering, huh? And one thing about the sun, it's catching. <laughs> now, child, you don't worry none about him, I can swear. And don't you worry none about Marcus. You kids don't worry me none. Tickle me a little, though. You and Ma have words. We chatted a bit. I see. What? Well. How does I look to you now? You done something to your hair? No, but I done something with yours. Don't you feel nothing? I feel like I'm wasting time, not taking care of business. That's all? Why? Maybe it takes a little bit to take hold. Whatever, I better go join the team. We might have better luck to call in. Say, Charlie. What? How'd you like to go with me? There you go! And you're never so kindly to ask. I just sort of had a hankering. Thank you, Black Winter. <laughs> Thinking about, Ma. Huh? You just can't say a 
make way true love. True love, she says. Like that's supposed to make everything okie dokie. What is this? City Hawkins Day? Now you just hold on a while so we can get more acquainted like. You want to know that. And I know this. First we got one city feller. Now, there's a parcel of them. And all of them stick in their noses where they ain't wanted. Did I miss them? Frida, you leave them be. He's mine. And as if this weren't enough, the Guernseys show up right here in my own hearth and home. Well, that Marcus has been saying. As you and them ought to figure out what you're feuding about anyway. I know what we feuding about. We feuding over that same piece of bottom land that he wants for the government. <sighs> I don't believe this. Your daughter sure helped me. Taking a break. Oh, go you? ahead and shoot me. I can use a rest. But they is come as far from a hand of man, Daddy. You should have had boy. What do you got us into here? Oh, Matt, take it easy. Let's stop for a minute and smell the roses. You might be surprised how nice it is around here. Are you out of your body? and cheek comes down here, it won't be so rosy at night. Why on earth would Slatery come all the way down here? Well, when I talked to the chief... You talked to Slatery? Make your report. You true Mary, that's why we're sent down here in the first place, don't you? Well, I won't let it worry me none. Used to, I would. Besides, I think it's plum nice around these parts. Plum nice around these parts? Marcus, you have to go over to your side. You come over to my side. I love when they play hide and seek. Ain't that beautiful like Paula? There you go again, woman. Ain't nothing beautiful like about it. Now look, boy. I ain't selling you my land. So y'all can just get I don't care. Huh? I don't care if you sell that land or not. You see, there's other things around the hall that's worth a lot more. Now, Paul, you've got two legs. <coughs> Let's leave these two for a spell. Got my way? I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> I was going to explain it to you, pure and simple. Oh, Mom. Paul. Yes, ma'am. Get in there. Hey, what's Oh, yeah, I suppose. Wonderful. What's wrong? Nothing. It done worked out just like I wanted. Just like I wanted. How things hold up here in the headquarters cabin. Winter Perkins, do you know who can marry folks around here? Well, I see things are working out just fine, I see. Marcus, I need to have words with the winner. Okay, I understand. Girl talk. He's got it bad. Yes, I mean, I don't want it this way. Oh, yes, ma'am. He is sure come down. Don't want wood. I wanted him sure enough, but not like this. Now I'm how you use your mountain potions on him. What is you saying, child? I want him to love me out of his own ideas, not out of something I've done to him. But women haven't put in their ways with him in long before I started helping out. But it has to be his own ideas. Don't just say that. Land sakes, child, you really is in love with that boy. Well, can't say I'm surprised by it, none. You really want to see how he truly feels for you? I does, for a fact. So take the pouch away from him. That's all it takes? That's all. Only. Once it's all, you can't put it back. Then I better be for sure then. For a fact. I will do her. It's the only way. Child's instead. I swung. Marcus. Can you come in here again? I hope she knows what she's a doing, child. Me too, Winter. Me too. Maybe you don't. You called me on. From now on, use on your own. On your own. What does she mean by that? Marcus, let's sit spell. Can't think of anything I'd rather do. Now. Do you remember early yesterday I done give you that pouch to wear? Yes. Well, you need to know something. I need someone that can... Oh, Charlie! Not now, Frida! Well, I got that failure in the kitchen. I need help in talking to him. Talk to him? Can't you speak for your own self? Well, talk is no problem. I need 
Marty to help me tie him up so we can listen real good. <laughs> All right, Marcus, you sit right here. I'll be right back. Let's meet this fast. You know, it might not be so bad living here. I could buy some land, raise some livestock. No more traffic, no more government, and no more slavery. Slavery! <laughs>
What's Matt doing behind the couch? <laughs> Crying to his wife. You said that I sure got some strange ideas. Will you children be quiet? We's about to commence the feuding. What? The Gertzies is ahead in this way, and they're sure going to be showdown. Good, good. Another thing, Charlie. Get out of the way, Winter. I'll come back later. The couch, he never put it on. Then it was for true and for sure. It is. Do you want us to plug you both? Oh, Pa, if you keep on going, folks, he ain't never gonna have no bloodshed. And then what would I do? Listen, Sarah Lee, we has more than we can handle right now. I would be highly obliged if... And I would be highly obliged if and you was to come on outside. Yes, sir. We need room to go off you. And you want I should talk to them? It sure won't hurt them to try. Ain't no talking to be done. Only for you then. Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. I'm the one you want. What? I'm the one who started this whole thing. Not Pa. So if you'd shoot someone, it had better be me. Marcus! That sure shows a powerful lot of bravery, son. Does for an effect. Now, do you want to take wide eyes? Maybe I'll tie a rag around your eyes. We don't want if you help him. Our insurance doesn't cover this. I'm the one who got to send all this mess, so let's go outside and get this over with. The chief is here. Now we're going to get it. We ain't as scared of no man. Bring him on ahead. Oh, no. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. <laughs> Chief, I can explain everything. You! Shut up! Where's Matt? Did I miss anything? We were just wrapping this whole thing up. I'm sure you were. I never heard such panting phone calls as the ones that I got from you men the past two days. So I did a little research, checked out the country records, and came down here. Now, who are the hair freaks? Masses! You've been feuding over a piece of bomb land. That you say was sold to you by your grandfather. Is that true? Earl that! Guernseys? That's us. And you say your grandfather bought you that same land? Ain't no say about it. He done bought it fair and square. And you know the truth about it all? I do. Then who does lay claim to that piece of bottom land? Neither family. What? what? The man who sold you the land turned around and sold it again to you. But, but he sold it to us first. That means we owns it. No, we don't. The man who sold you the land didn't really own it himself. We, um, you mean, we've been feuding this whole time and we didn't have to? So, who's the one that sold him the land? Someone named Bickle. Dory! Rosemary, say parsley. Time. Hold on. <laughs> Your name is Parsley, you're Sage, and you're Rosemary? Holy cow, you're sisters! What? Well, that cat's out of the bag. Rosemary, what has you two been up to? I guess we had better be the... No, I'd better say it. You see, when I came back to the holler 20 years or so back, me and my sisters figured I couldn't fend for myself. So we had to make up this story about me being the black widow. Louisiana, so I could make a living hood selling potions and such. Yeah, and we weren't trying we were try to hurt none. Now, what's that? Not yet. What do you mean? They done found out about Grandpa selling that piece of bottom land. Oh, well, we gotta go. Now, you men. I know. We'll just be packing. I should just run. You girls! Now, Pa, if the girls get hatched, then they move out of here. Now, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, this is great. I've got a few for the rest of the year. Okay. Chief, I understand you checked in the county records and all, but how do you know about who sold whom what? Easy. I came down here early and had a very charming gentleman to tell me the whole story. Who? He's right over there. I should have known. He always was the charmer of the family. But he didn't get all the charm. Now, Pa, let's leave these two love birds for a spell. I know, I know. Back to my room. I swears, I already missed the feuding days when things were so simple. Now, sweet 
Okay, how about you and me taking a little stroll? So let me get this straight. This is for good luck? <laughs> what do you think? I think they got it. Bye. Bye.